How's it going guys? Uh, these are just some quick tips on how to game with an i3 processor. Now I made a video on, on similar to this kind of stuff uh, talking about you know gaming on, on the cheap, uh, PC gaming on the cheap. You can check that video out. But in this video I just want to get a little bit more specific and talk about some other stuff. But uh, yeah guys listen, um, I don't believe in gaming with like an i7 processor. To me, even an i5 is pushing it. Uh, like I said in my other video, it's like with cars, man. If you know how to customize cars, you can take a small engine and make it really powerful putting in the right parts. And it's no different. I mean, a PC engine, that's what it is. It's an engine. You can call it that. I'm not saying you can put it in your car and you know <laughs> drive with it, but that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is with i3 processors. So... What I like about i3s is that they're quiet, they're not stupid loud, you know, again, comparing it to like a V8 car engine, like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, uh, those are actually V12s, I mean to say, but uh, with, with what I have, it's, it's a smaller, it's a smaller i3, it's not as big as some other i3s. Uh, you want to get the bigger i3 processors, the reason being is, and I found this out recently, they have more slots and you can put stuff in. With my Lenovo 300s, uh, you, it only <laughs> it only has one slot, and guess what the RAM card is? It's a laptop RAM card for a desktop, mind you. Uh, it's a small little laptop, <laughs> which is hilarious to me, and I should be crying instead of laughing. But yeah, don't make the same mistake I did. You're gonna have to get one of those ugly big brick towers, unfortunately. But, you know, as time goes by, technology shrinks. You know, anyone knows this who's not a moron. So, eventually, you won't have to have those ugly brick towers. But, for the time being, that's what you're, want, that's what you're going to want to get. Uh, I would say most of them have, like, three slots. Uh, really, you could do okay with two. But, um, you know, if you want to put that video card in, those video cards, plus... A, uh, a RAM stick then you're gonna want to get like three but for max settings anyways but I mean I personally don't really care about max settings you know as long as I'm in HD and uh, you know I do like 60 frames and I you can easily have 60 frames with an i3 not with mine but uh, so yeah you know all you're gonna be spending guys is a few hundred dollars like for real less than 300 bucks uh, on some good graphics cards, you know, and a, and a good RAM stick. See, the thing about the RAM card is you don't need more than 8 gigs to have really smooth gameplay. People say that you need 16 or even 32. It's ridiculous, man. All you need is 8 gigs. I promise you guys, you will have the best picture. You will have the best gaming experience with just 8 gigs. And I'm sure there's some videos on YouTube where you can look that up. Of people playing max settings on eight gigabytes you don't need any more trust me on this now in the future maybe we will you know uh, with 8k gaming and shit like that even though uh, 8k it almost seems kind of ridiculous to me uh, but you know one day I'm pretty sure it will get there and you know when that time comes you might have to switch a few things but for 4k gaming guys all you need is an i3 processor you know a, a decent graphics card and and a fucking uh, ram card and you don't have to spend you know fucking like five hundred dollars on a graphics card either you know to just get a decent one you know anyone anyone with those big brick towers those are all good like the graphics cards for the ones i have uh they're very small they don't they don't look like those you know those giant discs the ones that i have uh they're they're pathetic but anyways um moving on though yeah um if you want to talk numbers you know an i7 processor that's like 3.7 gigahertz you can get 3.7 gigahertz with a good graphics card and a good ram card you can easily get that on an i3 processor guys if you don't believe me do the math yourself uh, that's all I really got to say. I'm just so sick and tired of these elitists, you know, who like to play dick measuring contests and who, who like to, you know, rag on the peasants and stuff like that. But more so than anything, you know what I'm sick of? I'm sick of these greedy companies who feel like it's okay to charge a thousand dollars 
on a stupid box to play games with. I think that is criminal. And I think these developers honestly should be locked up and imprisoned. That's criminal to me. To make someone spend that much money, you should be, you know, you should just be locked up. Seriously, that's not right. So anyways, guys, if you follow these tips, I can promise you, I can promise you, your gaming rig will be amazing. You will have an amazing gaming experience. Don't fall victim to being a sucker. You know how elitists talk about being a peasant. They're the peasants because they don't know how to be smart and save money. You know, they're the ones who like to, you know, act like they have a big dick with their big i7 processor. <laughs> it's just pathetic. Anyways, guys, peace.